as Senator Graham made his presentation, the president interrupted him several times with questions, and in the course of his comments, uh, said things which were hate-filled, vile, and racist. He used those words advisedly. I understand how powerful they are. But I cannot believe that in the history of the White House, in that Oval Office, any president has ever spoken the words that I personally heard our president speak yesterday. You've seen the comments in the press. I have not read one of them that's inaccurate. To no surprise, the president started tweeting this morning denying that he used those words. It is not true. He said these hate-filled things, and he said them repeatedly. When the question was raised about Haitians, for example, we have a group that have temporary protected status in the United States because they were the victims of crises and disasters and political upheaval. The largest group is El Salvador, and the second is Honduran, and the third is Haitian. And when I mentioned that fact to him, he said, Haitians, do we need more Haitians? And then he went on and we started to describe the immigration from Africa that was being protected in this uh, bipartisan measure. That's when he used these vile and vulgar comments, calling the nations they come from shitholes. The exact word used by the president, not more, not just once, but repeatedly. Uh, that was the nature of this conversation. My colleague, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, spoke up and made a direct comment on what the president said. I was very proud of him. It took courage for what he did. And um, I made my own comments in response to it, but for him to confront the president as he did, uh, literally sitting next to him, took extraordinary political courage and I respect him for it.